Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be all the things that I am packing with me for my bachelorette party. I'm so excited. It's Wednesday and I know I'm packing a couple days early. We're not leaving until early Friday morning, but I wanted to film this video for you guys and I also wanted to have time to really plan everything out. That way I knew I didn't forget anything. Um, I just got out of the shower and did my skincare feeling really good doing all the prep work um tomorrow i am getting my nails done white of course and i'm also going to give myself a spray tan so today was like all the prep for that just getting my skin ready for a spray tan trying to clear up this little bit of acne that decided to pop up love that but without further ado i'm gonna go ahead and get started Okay, so before I dive really deep into the clothing, there are really random pieces that I've been picking up throughout the past couple weeks that I'm really obsessed with. And these can be bought for like anything, not just a bachelorette party. So I wanted to share these first, just in case you guys were interested. The first thing, I actually picked this up at Ulta. It's a little beauty blender egg. And this is so perfect for traveling. That way it doesn't get your other makeup dirty. It doesn't get any anything that you pack it with dirty. Um, I actually just traveled recently with my beauty blender and it got my lipstick really gross. So this is perfect. I'm so happy to have this. Like what a random small good find. The next thing that I tested and loved were these Ardell 3D individual lashes. I actually watched Alex Garza's video on how she does her lashes at home. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna give these a try. Let's see how they do. So I actually, with the ones that are missing, I tried these over last weekend and I was extremely gentle with my face, didn't wear makeup. I'm not gonna be that extra this coming weekend. Like I'm going to be wearing makeup and stuff, but they were able to last me three days. I still did my morning and night skincare routine and I slept on them. And you know, when I did my skincare, I was like very gentle around them. Like I didn't actually put soap or water on my eyelashes, but they were able to last me three days. So if you guys have like the patience and the ability to be gentle with your eyes, and you don't want to go spend $300, $400 on eyelash extensions. Not a bad, not a bad idea. These were $4. Like I will so happily put these on every three days. I don't have them on right now um, because I wanted to put them on Friday morning. That way they're fresh. I know that they'll last me the whole weekend. So this is definitely my favorite find. The next thing that I'm bringing is just this really cute little white scrunchie. Hopefully you can see it's really textured. Also, don't mind my nails. I am trying to keep them prepped so that they're nice tomorrow. And I just think this is so cute. I actually got it in a pack. I got these at TJ Maxx. It came in a pack like this. And yes, I bought this whole pack just for this one. But I'll definitely use these too. These are really cute. All right, so moving on, we're gonna talk about jewelry. I got really up in your face here. So here are a pair of really cute, small little gold hoops that I am currently wearing and I will definitely be taking these. Hello acne, sorry guys. So super cute. And I'm also, it came in a pack with a bigger pair as well. And I'll show you those in a minute. They are downstairs in my suitcase. Um, I have everything everywhere, it's all spread out. But the next jewelry that I'm gonna be bringing, um, I feel like I should talk about where I got everything. These and the bigger ones I got at Nordstrom Rack. Then I picked these up, which I got at Forever 21, surprisingly. These are so cute. As you can see, they like kind of spin, which is fun. So I just thought these could be good nighttime earrings. And then I also got these ones, which I'm super obsessed with. They just look like this, nice and pearly here. And these are like really, really bridal, so not sure how I'm gonna pair everything yet, but I know for a fact I'll wear these. And the last thing that I'm gonna be bringing is just this chunky gold bracelet that looks like this. I just think this is so cute and will literally go with every single outfit. I love this. 
and I believe I got this one at Forever 21. If I didn't, I got it at Nordstrom Rack. That is where I get all my jewelry. So this is what she looks like. Really cute. All right, we're gonna move into the clothing that I'm bringing, but before I do, just a little plug. If you wanna follow me on Instagram, my name is Lexi Eckert, and I will definitely be having pictures of all of these outfits styled, how I wore them, what we did on my Instagram account. So if you do not already follow me, go ahead and follow me so you can see everything I did with these outfits. And also, subscribe. There will be plenty more wedding stuff coming your way, and also decorating, because I'm very close to being done i know i've said that in the past couple of videos but i really am and i feel a home tour coming early august so the very first thing that i picked up this just has to be shown first i got it from lulu's it is this really cute basic tank that says bride it is pretty long um so how i would style it i think i would either like tuck it into the front of my shorts or do like a little front tie knot. We'll see, depending on my outfit, but I just think this is so cute. And it's not like annoying. I don't know how to say that and not sound rude, but I feel like this just this is still stylish. It's not like overly, you know, I don't know. You guys know what I'm saying. It's just, it's not super loud. It still fits the festivities, but in a very subtle, clean, neutral way. So really like this and the quality is amazing. It's so soft and I'd probably wear that. Again, I don't know. I'm one of those people who like packs a, a lot of stuff and then picks outfits once I'm there, but I would probably wear it with these jeans. These are just some white denim jeans that I got from American Eagle and I got these actually at Marshalls. They're American Eagle jeans, but I picked them up from Marshalls and they were like $12, I think, which American Eagle jeans can be anywhere from like 30 to 60 bucks. So definitely a great find. Um, I picked those up last night, actually. The next thing that I'm gonna be bringing is this really cute skirt that looks like this. I actually got this in Shein. It was one of the pieces that hadn't come yet for my Shein try on haul, which I'll go ahead and link that right here if you wanna watch it. But this is so cute and flattering on. It's a little wrinkled. Um, I'm gonna bring my steamer with me. So that's kind of unfortunate, but you know, it doesn't really matter. I can fix that. And it's just so flattering on. I'm not sure if I'll actually wear this because it's blue and I kinda wanna just be in all white but I could totally wear this with like a white shirt and white heels and it would be fine, I'm sure, but we'll see. This is just like something that I think is really cute and could be paired with other white things. Okay, moving into shirts now. I got this really cute shirt. It's not buttoned. Stand by while I button this up. So this is what she looks like. I'm obsessed with this piece. I saw it on the hanger and absolutely knew that I wanted it. She's so cute. Um, it ties on the top. And also here's like a close up of the pattern so you can see. And then it turns into this very sheer bottom here. And then the way it clasps is like these little things. And I just think it's so dainty and feminine and cute. And these actually lay really well on the shoulders and it looks really good. So this is something that I could possibly wear with that blue skirt or with the shorts, or honestly, this would go well with anything I wear. So then I picked up this shirt and I don't know if you guys have this everywhere, but we have a store in Ohio called Designer Fashion Warehouse. And it is basically like clothing that had errors. Um, I don't really know exactly what it is, but it's clothing that has been marked down exponentially to crazy prices and you definitely do have to like look through things because there are a lot of times things that have holes or stains or are ripped which is a bummer but if you're willing to like dig and look through them you can find really good pieces i've bought a lot of stuff from there but this is one of the pieces i bought from there hopefully the iridescence can pick up on camera but it just has this really pretty metallic sheen to it down the striping 
and I just think this is so feminine and cute. This would be really cute with like high-waisted denim shorts, a skirt, just regular shorts, like the white shorts I had. And then it does have a little hole right here, but it doesn't show anything. Obviously I tried this on in the store and it was really, really cute. I honestly think I paid like $3 for this and it's Victoria's Secret. So if you have one by you or something near you and you have the patience, I highly recommend it. You can find great things. This next top is another item that I picked up from Shein and this one is actually featured in my Shein haul. And it is just this really cute little crop top that has this little fringe all across the top here. Again, just a lot of basic pieces is kind of where my mind is at. I'm like, if I just bring a lot of basics, I can't not make an outfit, you know what I mean? So again, this will match anything. It actually looks a lot more cropped than it is. This is like a miracle shirt. I don't know how it works, but it goes to my belly button, believe it or not. I know it looks like it would only cover my tits. It doesn't. The next thing that I got was this dress. I'm actually between two dresses. We're doing a dressy night where we're going to a winery and I'm really excited for that. So this is my first option. She looks like this. Here is an up close of the print. So far back, it's a bodycon dress. And then at the bottom here, it goes into a flare. So this is really, really cute. Um, I will definitely have pictures of this one on my Instagram for sure. All right, we moved on to my floor now. Hopefully the lighting isn't awful down here. Um, I just went to Pattaya or Pattaya. I don't know how you say it. It's a store again based in Columbus, Ohio. They might have some in other places. It's just a really cute boutique down here. And I got three things from there. The first thing I got was this really cute little mask. It doesn't actually have anything to do with my bachelorette party. I am going to be taking this with me just because I think it's pretty cute and it has hearts on it. But I just wanted a new one because the one that I have is covered in makeup and kind of falling apart. So pick that up. And then I picked up these really cute like squirt shorts. I don't even like know how you say that. So it looks like this. And then the front has this fringe detailing and the material is like a linen and they're really cute. And then the back is just shorts and they're high waisted. And again, I can wear this with like any one of the tops that I showed you earlier. So just trying to get some good pieces that'll go with anything. And then I picked up this dress and I was not expecting to buy another dressy dress. Like I love that one. It was like, oh, this is it. But I tried this on and it looked so good and it was so cute. And so here I am with this dress too. We'll see which one I end up wearing. Um, I might end up just wearing both for different things. Who knows? So she looks like this. Really cute. And then the stomach cinches in over here and it comes to like that point on the bottom of it. Hopefully you guys can see that. It is so cute, like so cute. And then the back is just plain. So that is what this guy looks like. All right, so that was pretty much everything for like the clothing clothing of going out and being cute and stuff like that. Um, so now on the bathing suits, I'm bringing two bathing suits. The first one is this guy. So it's just this bandeau top and it is like a metallic snakeskin print. And it also has that colorful iridescence to it. It's really cute along with these bottoms. If I can get them right. And these are high waisted, really cute, a little cheeky, but not crazy. And then also, and that one was from Shein. I don't know if I just said that or not. And then also this Hollister high-waisted bikini, and it just has that ribbed texture to it. And these are also a cheeky guy. And then this really cute top. Because we're gonna be on a lake, um, I know one of the days is gonna be a beach day, or like a lake day, and I think we're gonna go boating, so not sure which one of these I'll wear, but I love both of them, so great options. I'm also gonna be bringing this really fun little beach hat. I think that this is cute. Maybe. I don't know. I halfway like it and I halfway don't. I just don't really think these look great on me, but that might be like my own issue. And I'm also bringing a white Adidas hat. I just 
don't know the location of that guy right now. And then on to shoes, I'm bringing three pairs of shoes, maybe four. The first pair that I'm gonna be bringing are these beautiful guys, which I actually also bought at the Designer Fashion Warehouse. I think these were like eight to $10. And they just have really sparkly straps. These are from Express. And just a nice little heel. And then I am also bringing these. I think these are so cute. They're like a very baby blue. And they're very strappy, like these are totally a 90s vibe, which I love. And then it's kind of like a snake skin as well here. So these are really cute. I really like these. The casual shoe, I'm bringing these guys, these little sandals. I got these at Marshalls. They're super, super comfy. They're like squishy, but they're actually really cute. So these will work for kind of just chilling, casual vibes. Next thing is my pajamas. So I got this set at Target. This is the top and these are the bottoms. Just a basic pajama set, um, really soft, not that impressive. And then if we get chilly or like we're hanging out outside at night, I doubt I'll get chilly, but I just wanted to bring it in case. I have this really oversized sweater that has slits on the sides of it here. And I got this from American Eagle a while ago. Like this guy has been through it and it's just to that point of wash where it's really, really cozy. So I really love that. So this bag, um, this is my Lulu bag. I'm bringing, I'm gonna be packing like all my makeup, my hair stuff, my shoes, hats, all that good stuff in here. And then my white cow pack is where I'm gonna be keeping like all of my actual clothes and anything related to that, like my jewelry and stuff. So I think that's everything I have for you. Oh, actually, there's a couple things downstairs I wanna show you before I close this video out that I think you guys are gonna love. They're really fun and like party themed. Okay, I'm downstairs now, but I was able to find the Adidas hat that I was talking about, just this guy here. Um, and then this is a really bright and fun beach towel I'm bringing. And then these are the other pair of earrings in the set that I got from Nordstrom Rack. These guys were $12.97 for two, so not bad at all. Really cute. And I like that they're like thick. And then I'm also just bringing these basic flats that I got from Target like two years ago. But they're white, so they fit the purpose. And then this is the cow pack that I have. Um, I don't know what size this is. It's like the carry-on one, but because we're just gone for a weekend It's like the perfect size and it also has the lock on it These are the last things that I wanted to show you that are super fun. Shout out to Miranda. She got me both of these um, This is my favorite wine. I love rosé and this one is just like super festive and good for the party and then This is so exciting. I don't want to open it yet because I don't want to like know what any of the cards say. But it's just kind of like Cards Against Humanity, I think. But like, for the girls. So here's like a little snapshot. And then the last thing is I picked this up from um, Marshalls. And I thought this would be really fun to take like to the lake or on the boat and just fill this up with whatever beverage of choice I have. That way it stays cold all day. I can just carry it around and I don't have to worry about it spilling. So I thought this was super, super cute and really fun. The final things of the festivities. I'm also gonna be wearing this dainty little necklace that I have here and I'll probably layer it with a couple of longer ones but I haven't decided yet. But that is everything that I'm packing. I am so stoked you guys. Like I really cannot wait to be there with all of my friends and just having fun and celebrating. So thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it and comment below what you thought of the outfits and if you are getting married soon, let me know what you did for your bachelorette party. I think I am going to be vlogging my bachelorette party, so stay tuned for that one, and I'll see you in my next one.